Hi Gemini, this is the short version for your financial reading January 2022 and you can see the long version on YouTube. You've got the Five of Wands and the Five of Wands uh, means uh, competition, clashing egos, oppo uh, opponents, riv rivalry, disagreements that are short-lived. Now, this could be doing business, you could have arguments or disagreements, but they're short-lived, so long you keep cool and you can discuss it. Also, rivalry means that you could be actually having competition. If you keep your cool, then you can make more money and you can beat the rivalry. Now we're going on to part two of this reading. Welcome back Gemini. This is your card, the bottom of the deck that I've used for the short version and now we're going into the longer version. You can see the review on any of these decks because I got this, um, the, these two decks from Brenda Tarot card readings. And it is, they're all related to stories like Aladdin or Red Riding Hood, Beauty and the Beast or other um, stories, folklore. This one comes from India and it is the Pandafas uh, Sanskrit epic poem, epic poem. The Five of Wands is represented here by the Pandavas, five brothers who embodied unity in the face of conflict. The five brothers have been known to bicker and play fight but they also care deeply for one another. A resolution to their strife only comes from good communication. And that's exactly what I said in the, um, in the short version. Now you come in with the Ace of Coins, the Ace of Pentacles. So they, like I said, if you are in competition, with, uh, with rivals, then you could win if you stay calm and collect. Take one step at a time. Don't do anything in haste, otherwise you will have to repent in leisure. Like the earth signs, they take it steady, sure but steady, and they build up and save up. They're not scared so long they do the research of the competition. This is a new beginning. This could be a new rival that you're competing with. This could be a new uh, phase of competition. You also um, have uh, growth within your company and in your finances. So long you make sure you do the research like the King of Pentacles and make sure that you know all the inform information necessary to make your money grow. Don't do things in, in uh, haste, otherwise you'll have to repent in leisure. Here we've got the tree. Now the words, um, the pictures also speak a thousand words. This is like Jack and the Beanstalk, so it is steady but slowly growing up. Also we've got the tree here, so you could be branching out, that uh, beating your rivalry. That is what it means to me. Uh, if it is your own business or in competition with colleagues at a, brand, uh, at a firm and you might be branching out in that firm. This is the king of uh, coins. Here you see a turtle, like I said, like the earth signs, slow but steady. They will get to their goal or their wish um, as to or, um, their, their bullseye. They will get there, you know, slow but steady. You know the story of the hare and the tortoise and the tortoise won because the hare fell over or broke his leg. I, I can't remember the story but I do remember the hare and the turtle. Just be sharp as a button. Do your research before you invest. Also the king of Taurus uh, represents um, um, the, the King of Coins represents Taurus and the Ace of Coins represent Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. So this could be a person but this could also be Capricorn time. You could be seeing more money coming in in Capricorn time. 
Perhaps you've been hoping for it, but you didn't see it coming because you were too busy competing and arguing, dis disputing or disagreeing. Wow, this is a gorgeous card and you've got the queen of co coins. So you've got the couple. You might be coupling up and you might be actually better than your other half, the other partner. Okay, so you might be the boss, you might be the CEO, and he might be the director. So I think you could be doing two jobs at once, being the, the top notch and also the making the decisions on the money front. This is with regards to career in your private life. You could be investing in something um, like a house, um, because this is coupling up so you could be getting married so the seven of wands is also protecting yourself um, against other against the rivalry and perhaps you might join up and partner up with somebody to stand strong because together you stand strong and you can defend yourself much better and so will they you will defend be defending each other so together you stand strong the Queen of Coins means also time is fertile to start new projects. You could be hearing of a birth, obviously of a new investment or a new project that you might want to invest in to throw your seeds out to make them sprout out and grow to a fully fledged tree. You've, he's got the Midas touch, you've got the green touch. Or you've got the green touch, or the Midas touch and they have the green touch. That's why you can say you're higher than the other, but you fill each other um, up. Like you might be doing the finances and uh, controlling and they might be the creative, creative side of things. As she loves children, she loves um, nurturing, she loves animals. So if you're in, in let's say the pet shop business, then you could be, uh, she could be saying, yes, if you do this structurally, you, um, you have small animals and big animals cost more money, take up more room, things like that about structure. So you might be reorganizing the structure in the business as well so that you can uh, open up a second shop. Now, from the astrology reading card, you've got the first house. Again, number one, so you've got two ones. The ace is also one. So, and that means uh, the angelic number is here. And uh, that means um, one one is a porthole to a new beginning. Okay. What people see and the impression you give. So if you think big and you are strategic, but steady and slowly, and you know that you will get there, that will stand you in good stead, that you're firmly grounded. That is what people uh, will be jealous of and they will be trying to make you fall over and uh, make you unbalanced and um, doubt yourself. Don't. You don't have to protect yourself towards strangers uh, or family or friends. They should believe in you and you only have to protect yourself uh, with getting loans or judicially. Now the first house, can you reflect in, can you see yourself? Do you believe in yourself? Do you trust yourself? Be transparent, be the star in your own world and in what you do. The house cards describe the area of your life that matter will be expressed in. For instance, your finances or your health. In the case of the first house, this is the area of your life that is literally you, your life force and what you radiate. As you walk into a room, it is the way people see you or the initial impression you give. When you first meet someone, you could say it is no, it, it, sorry, you could say it is who the mirror shows you to be. So be bold, be um, with both feet on the ground and be sure, make, your sure, make yourself as big as the king, show off, chest out, back straight, saying I am proud of what I'm doing 
and I create beautiful things and people will recognize you. You'll be a magnet, so beam, and the rest will follow. That, I'm not reading all of the meaning of this first house. Uh, I will do that most probably in the astrology reading this month again. And we also have an other, uh, an other card, a man holding a heart. So you are passionate. So long you are passionate and you show that you are passionate, people will believe in you. And you might even be partnering up with a man with a nurturing, um, a nurturing, uh, what you call it, nature. That is good in making things grow and expand like the tree. You fill each other, uh, I don't know, where you where you can't be uh, doing things, they will be filling that on. I, um, I'm just, the Dutch is much better in that respect. So you will be feeling more in balance with each other. This could be a nurturing man. He will put his heart into it as well like you. He will understand you're like two peas in a pod. So he will understand why you're so passionate about this project or investment. Male dealing with family, love or emotions. So yes, passion is emotions. Also, you want to provide for your family and maintain a good balance financially for the family. This tender man sits with flowers all around, holding the heart in his hand. For a man, this signals a greater clarity about emotions, their purpose in your life. There could be more balanced approach to family and love and this time also even finances. Even these have been confusing experience for you in the past. For some, this card upright could signal the presence of a new man in your life. And cards aren't sexist, so it could also be a female, since we have the queen here. So it is a lady that is career orientated and steadfast. One who tends to be more thoughtful and aware whether or not this man or lady is a love interest or a friend, he brings a high intention to help where personal projects, family or home issues are concerned. So perhaps this other person could be a lady career orientated, has a family, but has the masculine side. She will understand uh, family and why you want to support, why you're passionate about this project. And also if it is a man, it could be a nurturing side and that could be the the feminine touch that is needed to make people uh, feel attractive and cared for. I hope you've enjoyed this reading and we're going to do the stones as well. So I'm going to roll the dice and we have the Aquarius here, the water carrier. Okay. It's also known as the water carrier. So if it is your, if your finances haven't branched out in a Capricorn time, then you could be branching out in Aquarius time. So it's looking good for now. You're going into February, very powerful with a lot of luck because you've got seven, you've got Virgo, you've got Taurus, and you have all of the air signs, Aquar um, Capricorn. Okay, so that's beautiful. And 45 is nine, so that's an ending and you will be back in balance. So long you keep both of your feet on the ground, do the communication, don't be scared of branching out or uh, the competition because so long you do it steadily, it will be all right. Okay, number two, that's again, February is number two of the... Um, zodiac signs well not to no it's not the second house it's just the second in the year calendar the normal calendar and number seven again so you've got two sevens so that could be very significant as well and two ones 
I think it's a beautiful little um, reading. I hope you enjoy it. And um, I, this could also mean uh, not only work or balancing finances or more finances, but you could actually get a loan to buy a house or something like that. Something that's tangible and durable. You definitely have tangibility, durability uh, and long term here. Uh, in the three cards out of the five. Take care, stay safe and be blessed. Okay. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe. Take care.